Yes everyone, how are we all doing today and welcome to another video on the channel and today's video is a, it's a transfer related video. The window is well and truly open now and Leicester City for once are getting their business done very, very early with two announcements today. The announcements of Harry Winks and Connor Cody joining the club on permanent deals and we're also going to be discussing the departure of James Madison a couple of days ago now to Tottenham but I just want to apologise for the lack of content. Um, I obviously had my GCSEs up until last week, so I wanted to have a. Obviously, wasn't filming anything, any content during them. I wanted to have a quick break, let the relegation sink in, obviously, and just refocus myself. And now we're here for a long summer of plenty of content, hopefully. And it's busy for Leicester, which is what you want when you want to post content about it. Um, yeah, it's been an eventful, eventful few days, and hopefully, there's a lot more to come because we still need a lot more to come. With the appointment of Enzo Maresca and the four new people he's brought into his coaching staff today and his removals of Mike Stahl, Adam Sadler and Lars Knudsen. Massive, massive move from Enzo and it's clear to see that he's getting the backing and the support from the board which makes a change. And it shows that he's going to have a lot of power and he's going to get most of the things he wants in our bid to bring us back to the Premier League at the first time of asking. So... First of all, we're going to start with the outward going. Obviously, James Madison was always going to leave the club. Um, and it's good, that, uh, in my opinion, it's very good that we've got the business done early. Instead of, we could have dragged it out, maybe got closer to 50, 55 million quid up front if we dragged it out like a Wesley Fofana situation. That gives you no time to reinvest that money in a squad that greatly needs reinvestment and a massive overhaul. So yeah, you get 10, 15 million less for Madison, but you get the deal done two months earlier which is exactly what we needed we didn't want him hanging around the club and obviously not wanting to be there until the start of the season the end of pre-season however long he would have stuck about good that we got him gone early 40 million quid now to reinvest in the squad and you're going to get near enough another 40 million quid from the sale of harvey barnes you would assume which is probably well, looks like it's near the conclusion west ham to another destination for harvey and yeah, 40 million quid has it's already started to be reinvested with obviously Winks, Cody, and obviously there's another links this week, a massive, massive week of just piling on links with Zach Steffen, Joel Pip Hero from Swansea, and um Casadere, I don't know how to say his name if I'm honest, the young Italian from Chelsea, but it's looking like he's gonna be looking and uh, angling towards a Premier League loan move. So Another one we're missing, not another one we're missing out on, but one that we are missing out on. It would have been great for our level, but he's going to obviously want to go wherever it's going to improve his development the most. But back onto Madison, obviously. Great, great servant to the club. Five years he spent here, and it's, it's going to be, it's, it's tainted. His departure is tainted, obviously, by his tweets, his tweet, his oversharing in the public, um, and his performances that dropped off massively from the World Cup. But if we're going to be honest, we would be no, we would have been nowhere near surviving without James Madison. So I've got to thank him for his service to the club, all his goal involvements, everything he's given us over the years. One of the most, well, probably the second most skillful and technical player I've ever seen play for Leicester in my lifetime. Only after Rio Mares, and no one's ever going to catch up with him, if I'm going to be truly honest. So we thank Madison for his services. He's obviously leaving, slightly tainted, not how we wanted it to end. Obviously, we wanted him to. We obviously wanted to stay up, get more money for him, and then. But obviously, that's not how it's happened, and we wave goodbye to Madders now. With forty million to spend, that's how we got. That's the that's the silver lining over this. It's only June. We've got rid of him in oh, it's July when you're seeing this video, but it's only June. We've got rid of him in good time, and he leaves. He. I don't really know how to say this. He leaves as a player who isn't going to get the reception on a return to Leicester as he would have done if he wasn't so active in the media. But we need to take the positives from the loss of Madison. He was never ever going to save us in the Championship. We got rid of him early doors and now 40 million quid to reinvest in the squad and start our massive push for promotion under Enzo Maresca. So, on to the main chunk of this video now, the incomings, and wow, 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 are we pulling Premier League quality players 
to a championship side, which might be the Enzo Maresco effect. It might just be people so sure that we're going to come back immediately that they're happy to join us for a season. But we're going to start off with Harry Winks. Harry Winks, for me, is an unbelievable signing. Um, he fell out of favour at Tottenham, fell out of favour into Mourinho, Conte, first of all Pochettino, and he's had a loan spell at Sampdoria this year, and coming to us gives him a chance to revitalise that career. There was a point in Harry Winks' career when he was an England international, and Gareth Southgate said, oh, we should build a team around Harry Winks. So there's a player in there somewhere, and if Enzo can reignite it, um, he's going to have very little pressure on him in the Premier League at Tottenham. You've got the eyes on you, you're playing European football, everyone's watching your performances, but when he's down a league in the Championship, a lot less pressure. He can be himself. He can control the midfield with Kieran and Dewsbury Hall. Hopefully, he's looking like he's not going to go anywhere. He can control the midfield with him. He can ping the balls about. We all we all know about his performance against Real Madrid in the Champions League. There is a gifted player in there, but it just needs to be pulled out of him and and utilised. And for ten million quid, it could turn out to be a cracking sign. And if we could just bring out half of the player that Harry Rinks can be. He's 27, he should be in his prime and I think a move to the Championship is not only good for Leicester but also incredibly good for Harry Winks' career and the exact sort of player we need. He could slot straight in into that Yuri Tielemans replacement, pinging balls all over the shop, over the top to Dakar, over the top to Vardy. Um, I just utilised it amount of technical ability that he obviously has because he wouldn't Gareth Southgate wouldn't say oh we could potentially build my England team around this bloke if there wasn't an incredibly gifted footballer in there somewhere and for 10 million quid it was a no-brainer um on good terms of Tottenham obviously with the Madison deal it's a no-brainer because if it doesn't work it's only 10 million quid but if it does work you've revitalized an England international and you're You've got a player who's far too good for the championship, as many other fans of other championship clubs have been saying. So it's an excellent pickup for me. For 10 million quid, it's a high reward, pretty low risk manoeuvre. And one that I'm surprisingly, I'm a fan of one of John Rudkin's moves. What a surprise. It was probably more Martin Glover and Endo Maresca. But announced this morning a very, very solid start to our rebuild. And the second incoming, oh, it somehow finds a way to excite me more than Harry Winks. Connor Cody has joined Leicester from Wolverhampton Wanderers for a fee of around 7.5 million quid. Yes, he's 30 years old. Yes, it's 7.5 million quid. But the bloke has been in near, near enough every single Gareth Southgate England squad for the last couple of years. He was in the World Cup squad. He played decent for Everton and keep them in the Premier League, and oh, is he a leader. He slots right in as the replacement to Johnny Evans. Johnny Evans out of contract, obviously, but he, with, with Connor Cody, you are going to be getting a better leader. He, at the worst, just as good a leader, but ten times the player that Johnny Evans is. Connor Cody, give him the captain's armband, strong, takes no-nonsense centre-half, and far, far too good for the Championship. Both Winks and Cody have been said to have rejected many offers from the Premier League and Europe to come to Leicester, which is a great, great sign for how we're going to recruit, how we're going to recruit this summer and the sort of players we could potentially be bringing in. But back to Cody, leader, captain material, very, very, very good player for the second tier of English football, strong tackler, good in the air, threat from set pieces. And for me, he can, he slots straight in as a club cap, the club's captain next season. No people have been calling for Jewsby Hall, potentially Vardy, but Jewsby Hall, he's still a bit young. Um, Jamie Vardy, obviously, he's probably not going to be playing every single week. And Connor Cody's going to be hope he's going to be playing week in week out as a starting centre half alongside Harry Suter. There's also comments: Can he play in a three? Can he play in a five? Can he play in a four? But I think in the second tier of English football, he could play anywhere from a four to a three to a five. And now we've got three very solid. We could have a back five in the championship with Ricardo Pereira, Harry Souza, Connor Cody, Wout Fass, and James Justin. That has one of the best centre back, not centre back, defensive five the championship has seen for a very, very long time. And that's not even me being biased. They are five Premier League quality players playing in the championship. So, Connor Cody, Harry Winks, 
unreal signings for me. And we're not done we're not done yet, hopefully. Get Harvey Barnes out the door, get more money to reinvest, and HMS Piss the League is on. Thank you all so so much for watching this transfer video. There'll be a lot more of them coming over the next weeks and months and a pre-season friendly against Northampton on the 15th of the July. 15th of the July? 15th of July. There'll be a vlog for that. And of the Leicester and Demoreska's blue and white army. The relegation is in the past now. Looking forward to a season in the championship. First game of the season. Coventry <coughs> at home. I won't be there. But I'm sure the crowd will be lively. And I'll see you hopefully on the well, definitely on the 15th of July for the Northampton game. If there's more signs before that, if Harvey Barnes goes, there'll be videos. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Up the Leicester.